How can a boat sailing into the wind sail faster than the wind? At first glance, this is illogical. Surely the wind would blow the boat downwind. In short, the explanation is that the sail steals momentum and energy from the wind to push the boat forwards. But how exactly? The answer lies in analysing the airflows caused by the sails. The sail's curved surface on the leeward side of the sail redirects airflow towards the stern of the boat due to the Coanda effect. The keel prevents the boat from being pushed downwind and from tipping over. Under the right conditions, the wake airflow turbulence can be seen behind the sails. At the trailing edge of the sail, the redirected airflow pushes against the oncoming wind, decelerating and creating turbulence. According to Newton's laws of motion, the backward force generated equals the reactive equal and opposite forward force The physics of sailing is straightforward. This explanation is new. It is not taught at physics, engineering or sailing school. According to Newton's laws of motion, the backward force generated equals the mass of air redirected each second by the sail times the change in the velocity of the air as the wind decelerates and creates turbulence. Or, to put it another way, as the wind decelerates it loses momentum. As a result, the backward force also equals the change in momentum of the wind, which is transferred to the boat. The reactive, equal and opposite forward force, or thrust, pushes the boat ahead. This is why a boat's speed depends on the size of the sail and the speed of the wind. The Newtonian approach can then be applied to explain all aspects of sailing. For example, an additional sail, such as a jib, creates additional airflows and therefore additional forward thrust, which causes the boat speed to increase. On the other hand, shorter sails reduce the sail exposed to the wind and therefore reduces the airflows created by the sail, even if the total sail area stays the same. Less airflow reduces the forward thrust generated, causing the boat's speed to slow. Sailing closer into the wind increases the forward thrust generated for several reasons. A low angle of attack of the sail to the wind increases the coanda effect on the leeward side of the sail, which then increases the airflow redirected backwards. Also, sailing more directly into the wind increases the apparent wind speed. The boat is moving faster relative to the wind, which also increases the mass of air redirected by the sail each second. Also, the boat tilts less, and therefore sails with less drag, and is more efficient at converting airflow into forward thrust. In contrast, when the boat is running with the wind, the sail has a wide angle of attack and the dynamics are reversed. The sails do not redirect any airflow and no airflow is slowed down. In particular, 
There is no coanda effect on the leeward side of the sail. Consequently, no turbulence is created, so no backwards force arises, and therefore, no thrust is generated to push the boat faster than the wind. The wind simply pushes the boat downwind. As a result, the boat cannot sail faster than the wind. In conclusion, Newtonian mechanics explains all aspects of sailing, including how a boat sails faster than the wind when sailing into the wind and how a boat running with the wind cannot sail faster than the wind. That's it. Thanks for listening.